So here we are then, the grand final, the conclusion of a terrific week of Speedway. We've got uh, Team GB going off the gates one and three. Robert Lambert in blue off the inside. Alongside him is Max Frick in white. Gate number two. Gate number three in red is Dan Bewley and got to say Jack Holder who's done a fine job for Australia tonight. We'll go from the outside with the yellow helmet cutter. Four big laps here to determine who's going to be crowned the world champions in Voyance tonight. There's the lineup for you. Dan Bewley in red, Dan Robert Lambert in blue, Max Frick in white and Jack Holder in yellow. Fantastic week of Speedway. And uh, I must say that this is a fitting conclusion. Big teams missing out. Poland are the shock. They've had a poor night and that uh, hasn't been their year. They're going to have to dust themselves down and come back next year when we go back to the World Cup, which will be staged next season in Wrocław. Could be a different story there. They'll be hoping so because the Speedway of Nations just hasn't worked out for them. But Great Britain, the world champions, can they retain their title now? You can't call it, Kelvin. It's impossible to call this one. The only certainty is that these boys are going to be throwing their bikes at each other for four solid laps. They will indeed. It's going to be action-packed. Robert Lambert's done a great job. Dan Bewley also has got stronger and stronger the longer the night's gone on. Jack Holder has been terrific coming in to replace Jason Doyle. And as, uh, as a consequence, uh, Jason Doyle hasn't had a ride tonight because uh, Jack Holder has just been rock solid throughout the evening. So coming forward for the final time this week, the grand final. Here we go, moments away. Green lights on now. Tapes are away. Max Frick's made a superstar. Jack Holder's there alongside him. Holder from the outside makes a superb start. Max Frick's there. Looks for his partner. Here comes Robert Lambert up the inside. Dan Bewley coming around the outside. Jack Holder looking for his partner, Frick. But out in front, Australia looking good, really looking good, and set to be crowned world champions. Oh, here comes Bewley. He's got a lot of speed right around the fence. He's put in a big, brave move. He has indeed, but out in front, they're maintaining their position. Bewley trying everything he knows. Robert Lambert at the back. Frick holding the inside. Jack Holder around the outside. They're looking strong, looking firm out in front. I tell you what, Dan Bewley, he's, he's got the speed, but I just can't see that he's going to be able to do anything about uh, Robert Lambert at the back. If he can just squeeze past Jack Holder, he could try to slow the race down, but it's just too late now. Into the Fine. last corner for the last time this week. Fantastic action here. And Australia are going to be crowned yeah. world champions in 2022. Wonderful performance from Jack Holder and Max Frick. They are the champions and uh, Great Britain just missing out there. Got a feel for them, silver medal for them. They've done a really good job when they have been reduced just the two riders. But many congratulations to Team Australia with Jack Holder and Max Frick and Mark Lemon and Jason Doyle, I'm sure, playing his part in the pitch. Brilliant stuff from them. Jason Doyle will be celebrating just as much as those two. He's been every bit a part of this team. He said he was nervous watching and I could see it in his face before that, but fully deserved victory for the boys in green and gold. Fantastic stuff for them. Yeah, wonderful performance. Gates two and four really working well. Got to say that Team GB clearly delighted with a silver medal. They've ridden so well. Just missing out in the final, but for Australia, the uh, brilliant performance from them. Got to say, Max Frick made a terrific start there in the final. Didn't show any nerves whatsoever. Of course, he's a Grand Prix winner this year. But crikey, did they turn up in the grand final here tonight? Marvellous scenes there. Clearly overjoyed, and rightly so. Australia, in voyance, are the Speedway of Nations world champions. Brilliant stuff. When it counted, they soaked up the pressure. We can see the sportsmanship there. Sweden in there congratulating. But they're going to be popular winners. Team Great Britain, you can see Dan Bewley there, disappointment in his face, but they worked so hard all night long. Silver medalist, they can be proud of that, but tonight it's all about Australia. It is indeed. Silver medal, far from a disgrace. They've done a great job just to get there. And, uh, but it's all about Australia. They pick up seven points and they are crowned world champions here in Voyance this evening. Great Britain pick up uh, the silver medal. 
plenty of sportsmanship there. Jack Holder, I tell you what, that's probably the best performance of his career so far, Jack Holder. Terrific stuff. Yeah, big, big part of the team tonight. And they soaked up the pressure. They both made excellent starts. Uh, Jack Holder, come in particular, coming from gate four. Rode well together. Robert Lambert threw absolutely everything up the inside there of Max Brick. But Max rock solid, just kept it on the inside. If it had drifted off, of course, I'm sure Robert Lambert would have got through. But uh, totally different lines for those two riders. But in the end, it was the same result. Seven points and Speedway of Nations champions. Yeah, great moment. Mark Lemon overcome with emotion. Terrific effort there. Look at the delight on Jason Doyle's face, and he hasn't ridden tonight, but clearly he will indeed. He's played his role, I'm sure. Jack Holder clearly overjoyed, has ridden out of his skin tonight. Max Frick, so impressive in the final with that start away from gate number two. And Jack Holder also made a superb effort from the outside. That was the difference. And uh, Australia there coming out on top. Great Britain in second place. Sweden pick up the bronze medal. Denmark, Czech Republic, Poland and Finland just missing out. We've had a terrific week of Speedway. It's been a great advert for the Speedway of Notions. No question about that. It's been super duper right from the first semi-final on Wednesday night. It's been uh, a real privilege to be here, to be able to commentate on the four nights of Speedway. So uh, we're going to get some reaction now with the winning team with Scotty Nichols. He's uh, with the winning team now. Yeah, joining me now is your Speedway Nations Champions 2022, Jack Holder. It's been a, a long night, it's been a tough night, a lot of stress, but uh, you finally pulled out of the bag in that last heat. Speechless, mate. Um, you know I hope not, I've got to do an interview. I've got the biggest stitch, man. I was, uh, that last whole lap, I was yelling underneath my helmet. Um, yeah, we've been waiting so long for this one, and, um, you know, my first season or year in it, and um, awesome. Get in, ma! That was for you, babe. <laughs> you! Max, come to you. It was a real tough uh, semi final there with Sweden. It was a controversial call, a tough call, I wouldn't say controversial. How did you see that one going? You know, it's tough. We're both racing for, for one piece of track and, uh, you know, it is what it is a result, but we're stoked we were able to make it in the final, make a good start. Jack's been riding Unreal all night, so um, hats off to him and a big shout out to all of, you know, Team Australia, Lemo especially. He puts a lot of work in behind the scenes and, uh, yeah, he deserves this one. Yeah, Devin, Jason, you didn't get any time on track, but you certainly played a part in the pits. It must be a special moment for you too. Yeah, mate, I think I'm the cleanest world champion at the moment, so, he was, yeah. He was on the back of the bike that whole yeah, time. He was, he was with <laughs> us. Uh, unbelievable. The boy's done an amazing job, but also Lemo, for 20 years, he's been pushing for this world title and it's finally happened, so it's, uh, he's got some tears of joy and it's amazing to see. Oh, mate, yeah, we've got to have a word with you, Lemo. Uh, if you want to slide across, mate, so we can get hold of you. Mate, it's a huge moment. I know it's uh, been a long time coming, 20 years. I mean, a lot of these lads were still in nappies at that point. So, uh, yeah, emotional night for you. Yeah, it's just a crazy time. You know, it's like you come this, you dream of these moments for these boys. You know, it's all about these guys that ride week in, week out and get to the, the honour to represent their country. I mean, for me, it's an honour to be part of it. So it's just, uh, just amazing that they finally lifted it. We've been so close for so many years and we just kept persevering, but there's guys before them, there'll be guys after them, but uh, I'm, I'm never prouder than these boys and oh, this one's for my dad. Yeah, mate, and you're not on the track, but you're living every moment with them on the track. I can't imagine how you must have been feeling for those four last solid laps there. <laughs> I asked Tony Rickards and how he would feel in this moment, and I won't repeat what he said, but I was feeling exactly the same. Yeah, we won't ask him what he said about the ref's call either. Well, it doesn't matter. I mean, it's been a fantastic event. Uh, you know, the Speedway Nations, you know, it's been tough for us. You know, like I said, we've had plenty of great riders that haven't lifted this crown. Doyley's just been magic captain. Like, I'm just, you know, I can't wait to see him lift that trophy. He deserves it. These guys have just been sensational. Jack's had his chance and he's proved it. He's been great. Max has been chipping away and stepped up when it really mattered. So, fantastic to, to our sponsors, Motor Island Australia, obviously our federation, you know, Sport Oz and CBS Spinners have been with us for a number of years now. It's been fantastic. So, this is one for all you guys back at home, cheering up and getting up at early, early morning hours and uh, supporting us. Thank you very much. Well, on that note, mate, Ollie, go enjoy the celebrations. Well done, Team Australia. <laughs> yeah, many congratulations to Australia. That is an outstanding result. Two decades they've had to wait, so um, uh, fully deserved. And Jason Doyle there, quite clearly delighted as well, and that's superb to see.